particular, we're going to discuss the biology of habit formation and the biology of how we break habits. I think we can all appreciate the value of having habits. Habits organize our behavior into more or less reflexive action so we don't have to think too much about performing the various behaviors that, for instance, allow us to brush our teeth or which side of bed we roll out of in the morning. And then, of course, habits can be more elaborate too. We can be in the habit of exercising at a particular time of day. We can be in the habit of eating certain foods. We can be in the habit of saying or not saying certain things. But of course, there are many habits that don't serve us well or that perhaps even undermine our immediate and long-term health goals and psychological goals, and even some habits that can really undermine our overall life goals. So today we're going to talk about making, meaning forming, and breaking, meaning stopping various habits. So today we're going to talk about the biology of habit formation and habit breaking. I'm also going to spell out two specific types of habit formation and habit breaking programs. I'm gonna boil these down to some very explicit steps that anyone can use. 